in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use a PS5 controller on your Series X, Series S, or Xbox Ones. Any Xbox Ones will absolutely work. And a couple of things you do need is obviously your PlayStation 5 controller, a USB C controller, or you can connect it by Bluetooth, but I feel like by wire because you do get a better, better experience that way. Uh, you need a laptop with the Xbox app installed, so either Windows 10 or Windows 11, preferably Windows 11 because you want to get the better. You also want to download Windows, uh, sorry, DS4 Windows for um, for the drivers for the PS5 controller, so it acts more like a Xbox controller, because the minute you try to connect the Xbox controller with both these drivers, that it doesn't really act like an Xbox controller. So you kind of need these drivers to get like this PS5 controller and even the PS4 controller to act like an Xbox controller. So without these drivers, it's not going to work. So in case you need to download these drivers, I'm not going to show you because obviously YouTube can be a little bit funny sometimes about showing people to download things off the internet. And I know because they moved one of my videos before. Uh, but once you download it, download the drives through what they recommended uh, thing. Obviously... When the DS4 for Windows open up, it should look like something like this. Obviously, if it says start in the bottom, once your controller is connected, then you click start, and it makes the controller act. I think the weird thing is that you have to change like the colours on the controller. But yeah, that's, that's like a cool little feature they added in. I just didn't realise that until now. So obviously if I click stop, my controller will just turn off and nothing pops up. But where does it turn on? That'll show up and the controls on. The other thing obviously you need then is the Xbox app, which should be already pre-installed with any Windows machine you buy these days. If not, you could just download it for the Microsoft store. Again, I'll leave a link to the Xbox app as well as to the drivers of the PS4 controller. Just in case there's any problems. The one thing you need to make sure that is your laptop as well as your Xbox is connected to the same Wi Fi. It was not, this will not work. Or if it would work, then it's not going to work with a good experience. Obviously, if you're sitting here doing this, obviously it's not going to be the end of the world. So you want to turn on your. Just click stream your Xbox. Now you stream your Xbox. And right now, I am officially using my PS5 controller on my Xbox for free with one lot of drivers downloaded for my laptop and all the rest. Uh, or two, what, one app, one bunch of drivers, and boom. Completely for free. So if you want to use your PlayStation 5 controller on your Xbox for free, this is how to do it. But if we do want to see a, another controller, how to use an Xbox 6 controller, but completely free on the Series X and S. Go and check it out. It is another video, completely free method to do. So I understand you. Surely, go and check it out, and I will see you in that video. This video right here, or oh, right you. Same video. Did you see that video? It's right you. It might be right you. It might be right over you. I don't know. But right away, see you in that video. Bye for now.